Yesterday, a group of 30 to 50 ADF rebels crossed from the RC to Uganda in Ntoroko district while armed. This morning, ADF infiltrated us from Congo across River Semlish at a pressing point called Kayanja. Well, it is said that the first Ugandan who saw them at the crossing point was shot dead and rebels crossed successfully without interference. They killed one immediately, they, one of the civilians who saw them try to run away, they stopped him and refused and shot him dead. That is the civilian casualty we have. Now, the eyewitnesses who managed to escape said that the rebels were moving in a group of 30 to 50 and after crossing to Uganda, they questioned locals where the nearby UPDF barracks were. Now, following a tip off, uh, the UPDF deployed heavily and encircled them, and immediately fire exchange started. After a fierce exchange, 17 rebels were killed, 8 captured, and some guns recovered, according to Honorable Ivan the Gerald, Member of Parliament for Toroko County in Toroko District. Personally, I've counted not telling someone is telling me about what I've not seen. I've seen 17 bodies, that's true, with two bodies of, we, of, of ladies, and uh, I've seen 8 captured, and those ones I've seen them on the vehicle, alive, those ones they are not injured, and they have killed the commander of that, uh, of that operation. And a number of ammunitions have been captured. Um, according to the sources, because I've been on ground, we've lost three people. Uh, three people, one, two men and one lady, and we've lost a UPDF officer. Now, following this attack by the ADF rebels, the members of parliament have now tasked government to explain whether indeed it is ADF or other forces of aggression. We need to have a good understanding. Who is attacking our people? Is ADF just an excuse? Because again, that's, that's something that we need to get to the bottom of. Ugandans need to know. Our forces were deployed in, in Congo to ensure that Ugandans are safe forever. But it is very unfortunate that all resources have been put in place, but Ugandans are still suffering. Now, some members of parliament have said that it's time government declared if it has failed to protect Ugandans. Several, however, question how government can explain the attack on Ntoroko. What are you telling the people of Ntoroko, for example? Because you told them ADF is in Congo, you've gone to flush him out. But on this end, you're then telling them ADF is the one killing you. So there's too many questions and yet too few answers. Now, the members of parliament are wondering how the UPDF can account for billions, according to Operation Shuja, when the rebels seem to be advancing. I, I think that people in security circles are either sleeping on the job, as parliament we should be demanding the Minister of Defense, Minister of Security, to come and explain to the nation. So if they are being repulsed... Now, in a statement by the Deputy Commander of Defense Forces, General Peter Eluelu, he indicated that the situation had been handled. <music> Well, that's the latest trending story we have in the country. And uh, in case I get more details about this story, I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.